Why did Edvard Munch paint so many self-portraits? He once wrote, My art is a self-confession. Through it, I seek to clarify my relationship with the world. The tradition of the self-portrait goes back to the beginning of self-representation, where the depiction of oneself can be dramatized, beautified, fictional or factual. Munch played with the self-portraits in many ways and through different mediums. Munch captured his different modes and emotions through his self-portraits. He took selfies in his times of duress whilst institutionalized at Dr. Jakobsen's in Copenhagen. He painted his loneliness in the dramatic setting of his home during the night, roaming and lonely. In some other paintings, Munch depicted himself as a painter with power and vigor. He also worked with prints and drawings, with a more humanistic view on himself and how he depicted himself. What was he trying to capture in his self-portraits? One of the last self-portraits of Munk is Between the Clock and the Bed, where he painted himself without any idealization or pride, where he did not paint with anything but a realistic, serious look at his own mortality. The clock and the bed play a huge part in this portrayal, counting down the time to his death shortly after in 1944. So why did he paint so many self-portraits? To explore, of course.